Hey there, everyone. Welcome to GMB Gorilla. My name is Rody, and this is Ask the Gorilla. So today, I'm going to show you how to verify Google My Business without a postcard. So this is definitely one of our most common questions and one of the most common issues that people have with Google My Business and Google Business Profile. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we can do. Now, just to begin, there are seven ways to verify a Google My Business profile, or as, this, as we say now, a Google Business Profile, right? So the first way to do it is, of course, by a postcard. It is the way that Google will pretty much always recommend for a new business. Um, you need that address, and it needs to be verified. However, postcards often don't come for reasons that, well, let's just say for many reasons, they don't come right? We're not always clear on why. So we need other forms. Um, the other ways, number way number two is the phone call. And if we click here right now, again, we're looking at our business profile manager, right? That's our dashboard. And we get here by going to business.google.com. Okay. That link will be in our description for your convenience. So in our case, we're looking at um, Alpine. This is a Wilson art company like the laminate. So we can go ahead and look at verify now and see what options we have. So here it says choose a way to verify. So right off the bat, we're getting a um, we're getting a phone number here, right? So if we call this phone number and it has a real person on the other end, then Google will be able to verify it. Alternatively, the third way we can verify is by text. You can see this button here. Now we can call or text. Now an important note for this is to make sure that you have an your automated answering service turned off because the Google verification system will not be able to essentially press one or press two in order to reach a, a real life person. And that is the catch for the phone number verification method. All right, really important to know. The fourth method that we'll discuss today is the email method, right? So if I click here, alternatively, it'll give me an email address. Now, how does Google determine what the suffix of this email address is, right? So right now we're looking at info at alpinesalesinc.com. So this is referring to the official website that Google has on file for this listing, right? So if you want to verify this listing, you're going to have to make sure that the website that it is linked to is correct because that's how Google's going to try to verify this, right? So we can click on more options, but the more options in this case are postcard by mail and often clicking on other options leads you to just, well, the options that we've already looked at, right? And again, we can look at another one, which essentially has the same thing going on, right? There's a phone number here you can call or text. Now there is a fifth way right? The fifth way is by using the Google Search Console. Now, we're not going to get into that today because it's a little bit complex, but essentially using the Google Search Console, you can verify a uh, an internet-based company. For example, if you have a website, you can essentially verify it through Google Search Console, right? And we'll get into that in another video because it is a bit of a complex matter set setting up the Google Console, all right? So the next one is the video verification. Now, the thing about video verification is you can only get invited to video verification by Google. Most businesses won't have that option. And in that case, all you have to do is set an appointment with Google. They'll call you and essentially you can use your phone or device to verify that you are actually in an established business and that everything in there is um, going according to Google's terms of service for you to have a Google business profile. And of course, the last way to verify it is to set up what we like to call a ticket. If you type Google support, just here in the search, it will take you directly to the website where you can submit a ticket. You would go down to the business section here. It's all the way at the bottom and then click on Google business profile right here. And of course, you can start describing your issue and there will already be a method for verifying uh, businesses here. And then all you'd have to do is click on contact us. Now, 
Uh, we've already filled out this form in another video, so we don't need to get into it today. But essentially, remember the seven ways to verify our postcard, phone call, text message, email, Google Search Console, video verification, and finally, a ticket submission. All right. I know that was a lot. Thanks for hanging in there. I hope it was helpful. If you need help actually verifying this, it is time consuming. It can be a pain. Um, please don't hesitate to give us a call or just email us at help at gmbgorilla.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.